Hi guys, my name is Ankur. I'm from Hacking STEM team and we are very excited to partner with you to bring Hacking STEM to libraries across the country. Uh, I'm going to walk you through this case that will soon show up at your uh, doorstep. Uh, we have different videos to cover in detail on how to use this case. This video will cover essentially uh, what is in this case. So just an introduction to the materials. Uh, so when you open this case, on top you will see three or four baggies. We call these training packs. These are essentially the whole experience in a Ziploc bag. The goal is that you shouldn't have to open and lay out the whole Pelican case to be able to experience what the experience in the library would be. So if you're going to organize this in the library, please use one of these training packs and build a sensor. This training pack has everything you need to build one sensor. Next, you have these take one, take twos. These are used to lay out the materials in the library. So you'll need that uh, to lay out sort of a buffet-like uh, system in the library so that students can come in and pick up the materials as needed. This is called U-shaped guide. This is used to make a sensor and plays a critical role. Students are not allowed to take this. There is a limited number of this. They'll make a sensor and are allowed to take the sensor, but the U-shaped guide stays in the library. There's a bunch of those just in case uh, these get lost. And here's the container that you could use to serve these uh, We have also included a set of instructions. Again, these are instructions used to build a sensor. They should stay in the library. Students should not be taking these away. The next set of materials uh, in the box is called glove template. There's 200 of these. When students come in, they'll be picking up one each of these and building one sensor out of this. This template has uh, enough strips to make five sensors, so for the whole hand. But in the library, during the experience, we are only supporting one sensor per student. So only one strip out of this will be punched out and used. So this is how it comes out. And they could be build this. The next thing in the box is the box with a robotic hand. And we have a separate video on how to install this robotic hand and how to connect it to Excel and stream real-time data in Excel. So look to that video. The video is called How to Install and Connect the Robotic Hand. We have three types of badges for students. This badge is the Mechanical Engineering Badge. This one is the Electrical Engineering Badge. And this is a special hand badge that we give to students who build a sensor. All hacking STEM activities uh, ladder up to four 21st century technical skills. Electrical Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Software Engineering, and Data Science. In the finger sensor, these two skills are celebrated, which is mechanical engineering, because students are building a sensor, there is some mechanical engineering involved, and they are playing with wires and wiring the sensor up, so they are doing some electrical engineering. Therefore, these two badges are given, and the hand badge, because it's a special project. This is a set of wires uh, that is used to build a sensor. There are two other things that are used to build a sensor along with these two wires, uh, and they are most likely be here on top in the case. One is called Velostat. It's a plastic-like material. It's a conductive plastic. And there are two baggies of this in each box. Each baggie has 200 strips of Velostat. So in total, there are 400 strips. Similarly, each bundle of wire has 200 wires. So there are 400 wires. However, there are four sets of copper tape. These are strips of copper tape. Again a bundle of 200, but we need four. So for each sensor, you need two wires, two velostats, and four copper tapes. Therefore, double the amount. So if you, have, if you have to build 50 sensors, you will need 100 wires, 100 velostat strips, so half of this pack, and one of these packs. We've also included some business cards and business card holders. These business cards have details of our website, so if you can log on to www.aka.ms slash hackingstem, that website has uh, details of how to build the whole robotic hand. The goal is to inspire students to build one sensor and then encourage them to go build the whole robotic hand. And the instructions and all the resources are available online for free at the website. So at the end of the experience, they can take uh, this card with website details. Uh, we also have these sort of holders. You can use these to serve uh, badges, and kids can get badges after the activity. We typically uh, serve Velostat and uh, copper tape in these containers as well. So you can imagine that 
there's a set of four containers lying and students are coming in and picking these one by one. This is also covered in detail in unboxing and layout video, which is next after this. Uh, so that is it. Uh, this is sort of introduction to the box you received. And uh, please continue to watch the other videos in this series for a detailed uh, walkthrough of how to use these materials. Thank you and enjoy. Bye.